In this video, we demonstrate the effect of applying a very small universal noise, aka a perturbation, on Google's Inception Deep Neural Network. This universal perturbation has been designed to cause maximal harm to the classifier while being barely perceptible. On the top of the screen, we can see the feed of the camera, and on the bottom, the box outputs the top labels of the classifier with the corresponding score of maximum value 1. We can attempt to classify an object by pressing the button at the center that resembles a neural network. As we can see in the box below, the street sign is correctly classified. To the right, we have the option of adding the universal perturbation on top of the video feed. When we toggle to this mode, we can observe a slightly textured perturbation that has been added. If we now attempt classification, the perturbed image is classified as an electric fan. Let's try another street sign. Once again, it is correctly classified. However, when we add the perturbation, it is labeled as a fire screen. Let's try with other ordinary objects. First, the car. The classifier comes close to classifying the vehicle, labeling it as a sports car. Adding the perturbation completely throws off the network, misclassifying it as a running shoe. The wheel is classified with high certainty, but adding the perturbation ultimately leads to another unrelated label. From the rear of the car, we observe the same effect when adding the perturbation, leading to a misclassification as a backpack or a mailbag. Another street sign with added perturbations to the feed is again labeled as a fire screen. When we repeat the experiment with this motor scooter, the added perturbation causes the classifier to identify an armadillo. Let's try changing viewpoints outdoors. From this perspective, we observe that the classifier is able to identify the umbrella. However, when adding the perturbation, the classifier incorrectly identifies an African elephant. When we get closer, the umbrella is again correctly identified but adding the perturbation throws off the network, leading to labels of an armadillo and an African elephant. This cache machine is correctly identified from different perspectives, showing the robustness of the classifier with regards to scaling. However, when we apply the perturbation to the feed from three different distances, the classifier is unable to identify it, outputting labels such as space heater and paper towel. Let's try with an indoor object. The classifier correctly recognized this as a coffee pot, but adding the perturbation leads to an output label of an Indian cobra, and with a high probability. When we try a bit closer, we observe that the perturbation is robust to the scaling. This photocopier is correctly identified. However, adding perturbation leads to a space heater. This perturbed image of a carton is classified as a paper towel or a toilet tissue. And finally, this analog clock is incorrectly identified as a bib. Thanks for watching.